Hi everybody. <clears throat> it is Saturday night and I'm in Oatman, Arizona. Oatman, Arizona. <laughs> um, you're not going to believe where I'm boondocking. I am boondocking. <coughs> what? Oh, she doesn't. I don't think she, wa she wants me to be talking. <laughs> I'm boondocking at Danny, you, what, do you want to be in the movie? I'm boondocking at the fire department. Yeah, the fire department. I started my journey to get here. And when I got here, it was already getting late. It was already after 5 o'clock, and it was started getting dark. And there's no gas station in this town. So if you ever go to Oatman, there's no gas stations. And... To go to a gas station, I would have to go back onto a really winding road. So I pulled into the fire department because there's no place else to pull in. And I asked them if there's a big space out in front. And I said, can I park here And for tonight? I said, it's, good. it's too, getting too dark for me to drive on these roads that I'm not familiar with. And uh, the young man went up and asked the chief. And she said, yeah. It's, um, I don't know her, I forgot her last name, Chief Kathy. And um, I didn't get to meet her, but she said, sure, she could stay. Oh, there is no cell service up here at all. I can't watch YouTube, I can't watch anything, I can't send messages, can't do emails. So the only thing I can do is make a video. But I got TV. <laughs> I actually got television. Yeah, I got, uh, Channel 3, I guess it's a main channel in Arizona. It showed me Phoenix, you know, and I got a great picture, but no internet. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin. place I saw and it's kind of like there's like a Y in the road you know like a fork in the road I guess you could call it where you go to your left or go to your right if you're coming the opposite way that, of me so I pulled into the little section in the middle there and I thought I could camp here <laughs> you know but then I thought well what if I I mean there's nothing that says I cannot camp there so I just decided I'm only three miles from town so I might as well go to town and see what's closer there. Next eight miles, watch out for the donkeys. So it says I'm only a mile and a half from Open. It must be Open city limits but that doesn't mean that it's a city so I don't know, maybe I'll find something there.
much of them. Walking right there. I don't want to hit anybody. I guess they're used to it. People laughing. Welcome to Oatman. I should have went that way. Parking that way. Uh-oh, I went the wrong way. Donkeys, look at them. Just right in the street. Middle of the street. Museum. Let's go through this town. Here we are. We're in Oatman. Check out the buildings. It's like your an destination old is ahead. Western. How cool. The Oatman Hotel and the General Store. It's kind of narrow. <sighs> Leather goods. Jackass Ron. You have arrived at your destination. Thank you, Abby. Arizona to elevation 2,700 feet. Well, you probably can't see it really well, but you can see the lights. I'm at the fire department. That's them way up on the hill. But uh, I wish you could see better. But I'll get a picture in the morning. More tomorrow. From the fire department in Oatman. And Danny wants to play now. <laughs> she she thinks if she sees my hands, she can play with them. Shh, no, no barking. Stop. Stop. Good night. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up. And um, I stay overnight at the fire department. And I'll let you see. Hold on. Okay, here we go. This is the Oatman Fire Department. I spent the night here last night in this front piece of property. It looks like there was some water here that dried up. There used to be a wash or creek or something. The mountains are gorgeous, aren't they? So, I didn't get woke up this morning by donkeys like everybody else says you do. Depends, I guess, on where you're at. But this is a little piece of property in front by the road that they were nice enough to let me stay at. And it's a nice day today. I don't know what the temperature is yet. But we're going to get on our way. So I can't find my regular glasses. I set them down in my camper to wash my face, and now I can't find them. They're in there somewhere, but I tore the place apart. Thank goodness I have a spare pair of glasses. And I have prescription sunglasses. These are regular glasses that turn colors, the regular spare glasses, but, and they happen to match what I'm wearing today. So oh, that worked. And I just got to show you this really pretty cactus here. I don't know what kind it is, but isn't it pretty? 